Google has introduced its latest AI innovation, Adatape. It's a revolutionary model that utilizes adaptive computation. This transformer-based architecture uses a dynamic set of tokens to create elastic input sequences, offering a fresh perspective on adaptivity that surpasses previous models. Understanding the complexities of traditional neural networks, which have been the cornerstone of machine learning for years, is like understanding our own habits and patterns. These models have fixed functions and input methods, often limiting their ability to adapt to the increasingly complex variables and dynamics of the real world. Adaptivity is a vital requirement for modern machine learning in today's world, leading to groundbreaking concepts like adaptive computation. That's where Google's new Adatape model comes in. Adaptive computation is a method that allows a model's computation power to adjust based on the complexity of the input data. By creating models with this adaptability, Google can achieve a more efficient and flexible design that is better suited to handle the constantly changing nature of datasets. Adatape is a prime example of this, as it stands out for its simple implementation process and high level of accuracy. What makes this model unique is its ability to incorporate adaptivity into the input sequence rather than focusing solely on the model's depth. This innovative approach should open up a world of possibilities, particularly in the realm of neural networks. Google states that Adatape uses an elastic input sequence that includes a dynamic read and write tape. This architecture adapts to generate input sequences by using tape tokens from a tape bank, which can either be trainable or derived from input data. The challenges and requirements for obtaining dynamic sequence content and length are explored, and the Adaptive Tape Reading ATR, algorithm is proposed to achieve these goals. Extensive experiments on image recognition tasks demonstrate that Adatape can deliver better performance while keeping the computational cost low. This remarkable neural network can adapt to any task with ease, making it an invaluable tool for a variety of applications. With Adatape, there's no need to waste excessive power on simple tasks. It is designed to expertly balance flexibility and capability, allowing it to easily tackle straightforward and intricate tasks. Adatape utilizes adaptable function types and a flexible computation budget, specifically when processing a batch of input sequences after tokenization. It dynamically selects a variable size sequence of tape tokens using a vector that represents each input. To store all the candidate tape tokens that interact with the model through the adaptive tape reading mechanism, Adatape uses a bank of tokens known as the tape bank, which Google has explored two methods of creating, input-driven and learnable. With input-driven, Adatape extracts a bank of tokens from the input using a different approach to the original model tokenizer. This approach allows for dynamic, on-demand access to information from the input obtained using a different point of view such as a different image resolution or level of abstraction. If it is not possible to tokenize a graph transformer node in a different level of abstraction, then the input-driven method may not be feasible. In such cases, Adatape provides a more general approach by using a set of trainable vectors as tape tokens, known as the learnable bank. This approach acts as an embedding layer, allowing the model to dynamically retrieve tokens based on the complexity of the input example. Not only that, but with the learnable method, this model can generate a more flexible tape bank and adjust its computation budget based on the complexity of each input example. More complex examples retrieve more tokens from the bank, which allows the model to not only use the knowledge stored in the bank, but also spend more FLOPs processing it, since the input is now larger. After selecting the appropriate tape tokens, they are added to the original input and sent to the transformer layers. The multi-header tension used in each transformer layer is the same for both input and tape tokens. However, two distinct feedforward networks, FFN, are employed. One for the original input tokens and another for the tape tokens. The quality improved slightly when Google used separate FFNs for input and tape tokens. Now let's look at some of the features and capabilities this AI has. Adatape has been evaluated by Google on the challenging parity task. This particular task involves determining whether a sequence of ones, zeros, and minus ones contains an even or odd number of ones. Although the language used in the task is simple, 
It poses a significant challenge for the standard transformer model, as it cannot maintain a counter within the system. Interestingly, both the standard transformer and universal transformers were unable to perform the task, despite the sequences being relatively short and straightforward. However, Adatape stood out from the other models, demonstrating superior performance due to its lightweight recurrence mechanism in the input selection process. This inductive bias allows for the implicit maintenance of a counter, which is impossible in standard transformers. Moreover, its ability to solve the parity task effectively showcases its potential to overcome the limitations of traditional transformer models, making it an exciting innovation in the field of AI. The success of Adatape on the parity task could be a significant breakthrough as it demonstrates the power of incorporating inductive biases into the design of AI systems to enhance their capabilities. Google also conducted a test to evaluate the image classification ability of Adatape. They trained it from scratch on ImageNet 1K and compared its accuracy with other methods, such as AVIT and Universal Transformer VIT, UVIT and U2T. The test was based on the speed measured in the number of images processed per second. The results showed that Adatape outperformed the adaptive transformer baselines in terms of quality and cost trade-offs. Google evaluated Adatape's token selection behavior on the JFT300M validation set. In addition to its performance on the parity task and ImageNet 1K, to better understand the model's behavior, Google visualized the token selection results on the input-driven bank as heat maps, with lighter colors indicating more frequent selection. The heat maps demonstrate that it tended to select central patches more frequently, which is consistent with Google's existing knowledge that these patches are usually more informative, particularly in datasets with natural images where the main object is in the center of the image. This result showcases the model's intelligence in identifying and prioritizing informative patches to enhance its performance. Let's discuss the differences between Adatape and other foundational models that are currently available. As previously stated, Adatape utilizes a flexible range of tokens to generate adaptable input sequences. This implies that the number of tokens utilized in the input sequence can vary, depending on the complexity of the input. For uncomplicated inputs, only a few tokens are required, while more tokens are needed for more intricate inputs. Not only that, but this AI uses an adaptive tape reading mechanism to determine a varying number of tape tokens that are added to each input based on the input's complexity. This mechanism uses a neural network to predict the number of tape tokens that are needed for each input. It's important to mention that Adatape surpasses other adaptive computation models in various tasks such as image classification, natural language inference, and question answering. It achieves a score of 89.8 .8 on the GLU benchmark, which is a remarkable performance and a state-of-the-art result. This AI's exceptional performance is what sets it apart from past models. When talking about efficiency, we can say that Adatape is more efficient than other adaptive computation models because it only processes relevant tokens, saving computation time on simple inputs. All in all, the Adatape model developed by Google is a promising advancement in machine learning and neural networks. Its integration of adaptive computation introduces a new dimension of progress, which holds the potential to significantly increase efficiency and accuracy in model computation. As the field of machine learning continues to evolve, adaptive computation is predicted to play a vital role. That's all we have for today. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching.